I love the livid tweed alive and roses. And if you take care of them right, they put on a show like you can't believe. But the key is you do have to take care of them right. Okay, so the first thing you do is in the spring, you're gonna cut these things down by two thirds. That's usually around March 1st uh, to an outward facing bud. And then they grow back uh, much bushier and they flower way better. But there's pruning you have to do in the summer too. If you let them go to rose hips, which is their seeds, then they know where on earth to reproduce. So they go, all right, I've done my job. I'm gonna kick back, take the rest of the summer off, get a good suntan and do nothing. So you can't let them raise a family. You gotta cut those flowers off, you know. Take that, buddy. So I give a mix of these to my roses every six weeks and they bloom like crazy. So I've made a mix here of uh, the organic fertilizer and the alfalfa meal. And you use two cups per average size tea rose just to give you kind of a guideline. And you want to put this around the entire rose and work it in. If it just sits on the outside, it doesn't work very well and it could even attract rodents. Yeah, I think this is just about perfect now. Nice and worked in. It's not gonna attract any rodents, but it's gonna make it flower like crazy. I have one last thing you have to do. Make sure that you make some bouquets for your sweetie pie. <laughs> They'll be so impressed when you make a bouquet of these beautiful, fragrant flowers. I wouldn't be surprised if you'll get something really special like a Brussels sprout casserole for dinner. Oh la la! <laughs> <laughs>